welcome to XUK at Home. Um, my name is Casey, some of you might recognise me from XUK Activity, um, but today I'm here to teach you all how to make a mint aero cheesecake. It's, um, it's super simple, all you need is a mixer, a pot and a tray that looks like this that you can use to create the cheesecake. For the filling we need 200 ml of double cream, two tubs of mascarpone each 250 grams, one tub of Philadelphia also 250 grams, one bar of mint aero chocolate, some green food dye and some peppermint flavouring. We also need a little bit of icing sugar. For the base we need one packet of biscuits, I've selected Oaties here but you can use digestives or another alternative and we also need one block of unsalted butter around 250 grams. The first thing that we're going to do is prepare the base for the cheesecake. So for that we need our Oaties biscuits or digestives or whatever you prefer and you need 250 grams of unsalted butter. The first thing we're going to do is melt the butter in a pan and then we're also going to bash up the biscuits using a wooden roller and a bag. Okay, so super simple, we're going to open up the butter just like this. Take a knife, doesn't have to be a sharp one, and we're just going to chop it up into four or five segments. So I'm just using a clear food bag here and I'm going to take the biscuits, open them up and just pour them in. Wooden rolling pin or I'm using the cling wrap here and just We just keep going with that until they are a nice fine crumb. Then we want to turn to our hob, turn it on just to a medium heat. Then we're just going to add the butter until it melts. So now we're going to put the biscuits into the bowl and wait for the butter to melt. So once the butter has melted and looks like this, we can then add it into our bowl. And then we can start to combine the two ingredients just by stirring it around and around until it looks something like this. We don't want it to be too wet and we don't want it to be too dry, otherwise the base won't stick together. Just scoop in the mixture from this bowl into the tin. And then once it's all in there, we're just gonna pat it down so that we have a nice firm base. And when it's ready, it should look something like this. Um, we can take it from here and then we're going to put it in the fridge until our filling is ready. So now we're going to add in our cream. Just pour all that in there before adding our icing sugar. in our icing sugar which is just two tablespoons of that. One thing that does happen when you first start mixing the cheesecake, it will seem a bit runny. Don't be careful to put any more icing sugar in, it actually makes it thinner rather than thicker. Put in half a teaspoon of our peppermint extract and half a teaspoon of our green food dye. Okay, so all your ingredients are in there. Now all we have to do is put the mixer down and turn it up 
When you first put it on, we want to put it on quite slow so that the ice and sugar can get mixed into the mix and then once that's not going to hit you in the face, we just want to crank it right up and leave it on there for about two minutes. So now we want to chop up our Aero chocolate while our cheesecake is still mixing up. So when the cheesecake is ready it should be quite stiff um, and yeah it should just look like this. Then all we're going to do to finish it off is add in the rest of the Aero chocolate, get all that in there and then we're going to put it on to spin for another 30 seconds to a minute. just take the other pieces and just sprinkle them on as a nice topping. And now we want to take our cheesecake and pop it in the fridge for another few hours, two to three. Um, it will be fine after one, but the longer you leave it in there, the firmer it will be. Thanks for joining me at XUK Home.